Good evening, Figaholic friends. This tree here is Figo Preto. And this tree actually was started from the mother tree that my friend Sue found. Um, she'd gotten some cuttings to John Burdick, and John started those, and I bought two of them. Another one back over there is not growing as well. Neither one of them are that vigorous, and I have one that I've grafted onto brown turkey recently that I'm going to plant in the ground in between the two. Um, I have some black Madeira, Madeira to my right that are ripe already. I believe both figs are the same. I've said so many times. And some people say Figo Preto is ripens earlier. And I would say that really it's just a, a fluke from time to time. Um, one will be ripe earlier than the other. This year actually Black Madeira was ripe earlier, but the birds got all the fruit. But here's the inside pulp. I've got my production assistant, Jan, here. I'm going to let him have half. Some people are put off by the chewy skin. I like it myself. You can always peel the fig or scoop out the pulp if you wish, but I like the texture. The pulp was very delicious, I guess. It's um, a medium berry flavor and sweet. It's been well described many times, so I think that's yeah. So um, today is August 12th. We're a little bit late this year because of um, cool May weather, but we're getting ripe big. We're getting hot again now. Um, I'll just take a quick pass and show you my black madeira that's grafted onto brown turkey um there's quite a few figs in here that were eaten by birds i looked this morning trying to find one and they were all wiped out so no video of that today i'm hoping to get another bird scare device to cover this end of the orchard batter because my bird guard is about 300 feet away from here and it's just not covering well enough so again this is figo preto thanks for watching